What's going on guys? Welcome back. We're in season six, right? Still. <laughs> Yo, this series is fire. And if you notice, you guys have been getting a lot more uploads for The Walking Dead. Because I'm enjoying the series, okay? I'm enjoying the series. If you're watching this, don't comment asking me about any other series on the channel. Okay? It is what it is right now. Okay, just know that there's more to come. There's more to come for whatever series you're watching on the channel. It's a new week. Let's get on with it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, The Walking Dead Season 6 Episode 11 is here today. I'm probably only going to do one today, but we'll see how things go. If it ends up being really good, then I'll do another one. But I am promising one right now <laughs> yeah so anyways man we're just gonna jump in because we know what's happening everything is kind of like down right now but i'm curious to see what this jesus dude is about to say to um to rick and michonne after waking them up out of their bed naked okay and as i said i've talked about the relationship before i don't need to talk about it check out my last review of how i talked about michonne and rick's relationship and now it's not surprising to me that you know that they hooked up but we'll see if they'll develop something a little bit more true is fine you know what i'm saying you know um as i said i've always thought that michonne had feelings for rick because they were trying to build up to that but either way i'm cool you get what I'm saying? Either way, this relationship went, I would have been cool. If they never got together, I would have been cool with it. If they, and they are, so, hey, I'm cool with it too. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a surprise. The chemistry was built. They did a good job of building it up. So let's get on with it. Anyways, I'll see you guys for the review. All right, so we got a little bit more insight into who Negan is and can already tell that he's the next governor <laughs> you know um but he's a little bit more i would say more rootless off bat um i don't know who this negan is um uh, who he's gonna potentially be i don't know if they're just creating a protagonist for not protagonist antagonist um for you know, until the end of the season. There's only like six episodes left. So um, they've been creating this lore behind Negan, you know, mention his name here and there, you know, and, you know, still haven't seen him yet or who this guy is. We're getting a little bit of insight of who he is, but we don't know who he is. And that's that's good if, for, for setting up a villain. You know what I'm saying? If you're setting up a villain, the best way to do it is to foreshadow that villain and do it very well for people to create a certain kind of fear for when this guy shows up it's going to be bad news i don't think it's going to be that easy as they're thinking now we're just going to take out these dudes and whatever these guys were sending out groups of people and pretty big groups too you know what i'm saying so i don't know man i don't know i don't know what to think right now because they're creating this lore around this character um of foreshadowing this character they never foreshadowed the governor like how they're foreshadowing negan like you never heard anybody really talked about the governor before we actually saw him on screen he was just there and we knew okay you know certain things that he was doing was that we, we didn't really know that the governor was bad until we saw him kill those soldiers for the for the supplies right so um when it comes down to negan they're like creating this lore of just him being a bad guy from the get-go because the people that he controls talk about him in the third person like it's it's weird negan all this stuff belongs to Negan. they talk about him as if he's some sort of god or something man it's crazy but um they they, they have a certain level of fear for him you know what i mean um i mean the dude just came in and just beat a 16 year old to death right off the bat according to the guy so i mean that's crazy so oof that that that's crazy um jesus is a character of course now we're getting to know that they're kind of bit, but 
um, Maggie took off half of their supplies. <laughs> so I'm guessing they're going to go back home to Alexandria to maybe get more people and then they'll make the trip. So we'll see. Um, I think it's probably a big camp, man. It's got to be a big camp because if, if they're like intimidating people like this, like why, how, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. So, um, I guess we're going to learn more about Negan as we, <laughs> as we continue to watch the show. So if they're second up an antagonist for the second half of the season, I'm fine with that. That's okay. Um, you know, so we, we'll get to see how this go, how blah, 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 whatever. Um, you know, you know, happy go lucky. Yeah, you know I'm saying Rick still a savage. He doesn't hesitate to kill. Why are you trying to kill me, dude? I'll kill you first. Yeah, you know I'm saying what? What y'all looking at? Y'all never seen a man kill another man? <laughs> Rick is a savage, man. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I don't have much to say in this review. Um, this episode was pretty straightforward and I only watched one episode, so I'm not going to bore you guys with a long review. I just want to know who this Negan guy is waiting for him to appear on screen so I can gauge his actions. TV's, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they're already establishing as just a terrible person. So I just want to see this terrible person in person, you know? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, as always, man, leave a like on the video, leave a comment. Let me know if you're excited you know what I'm saying? I do, do not give away anything, okay? The lore will get me there. The lore will get me there. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we'll see how things go. Let me know in the comment section um, what do you thought of this? Uh, your thoughts on this episode? If you're excited for me to see something that's coming up, don't tell me what it is. But if you're excited to see something or whatever. I'm just trying to get you guys to comment on the video some way, somehow. Subscribe to the channel, okay? If you're new, I'm out of here, man. Peace.